I am at the beach right now, and I know you're asking yourself, hey, how did he get down to the beach? Well, the answer is I flew my plane down to the beach, and I flew my plane down IFR. Which brings me to this point. If you don't have your instrument rating by now, here are five reasons why you need to get it. If you are thinking about getting your instrument rating, I have three words of advice. Do it now. Plain and simple, you just need it. Your instrument rating will be one of your biggest accomplishments in your flying career and in your life, no matter what age you are. And for those of us over 50, it carries a little bit more extra gravity. But getting your instrument rating is huge, and I mean it's big. It's a big deal and it will expand your world as a pilot and pretty much change your life as a pilot. And yes, I said change your life. And I know everyone will agree with me on this one. So here are the five reasons to get your instrument rating. You will be able to fly more. And I put a caveat here, within reason, good judgment, and sound ADM, aeronautical decision making. And I'll come back to that later. So many times a thin layer of clouds will prevent you from getting up in the air and getting you where you want to go. You'll have ceilings at 1200 to 2400 feet, but it's clear on top and you are stuck on the ground. I want to say something here. Don't ever try to push through low ceilings as a non-instrument rated pilot. That's a guaranteed method to get you into an NTSB report. But even the thinnest layer of clouds can keep you on the ground. Getting an IFR clearance and flying through a thin or even a thick layer of clouds gives you an incredible amount of freedom. There are plenty of times that you will have cloudy weather that isn't bad. VFR pilots can't fly through that, but IFR pilots can. Getting your instrument rating will decrease your personal minimums and allow you to fly in different conditions. Now, back to my caveat. An instrument rating does not allow you to fly in all sorts of weather. You must use sound ADM, aeronautical decision making, good judgment, and you must still have personal minimums. Remember, we are still flying riding lawnmowers with propellers on them. Don't push it. Your insurance will go down. Getting additional ratings will decrease your insurance. Even though insurance rates went up substantially this year, my insurance went from $1,708 a year down to $1,100, and that was a nice surprise. Now, I did have my commercial as well as I just passed 600 hours, so I do know that helped, but getting your instrument ticket will decrease your insurance. The instrument rating was a big factor in my decrease, and insurance companies look kindly on additional ratings. Here is an added bonus, and one I did not realize until I started flying IFR everywhere. ATC does all the heavy lifting for you. You have eyes in the sky. You still have to watch, but traffic, weather, airspace, guidance, you, you have an entire team of people literally tracking you across the sky, and you are in constant communication with controllers, and everything from traffic, weather, airspace, and everything else in between is being monitored for you. I have found that flying IFR is actually easier when I am going long cross country. Now that doesn't mean you don't have to do all the work and the pre-planning, of course not. You still have to do more pre-planning and pre-flight activities as an IFR pilot, but you have a team of people working with you on the trip, and that is a great peace of mind. Over time, you will understand weather better than ever before. And this will come in a short amount of time if you fly IFR a lot. You will become a pro at reading and deciphering and understanding the weather picture, both big picture and specific local picture. Now, I have still made more no-go decisions than go decisions as an instrument rated pilot, but I can read and I understand the weather much better than I ever have. I find myself on the ground and even in the car looking up and reading the weather all the time and asking myself, would I fly through that? 
and I understand things like temperature differences on opposite sides of fronts, what temperature differences can mean for your rides at different altitudes, when strong differences in wind direction can suggest wind shear, and most importantly, being able to answer the question, what is likely to happen next with the big weather picture? And now the most important thing, getting your instrument rating will make you a safer, more confident pilot. I have talked to a few captains at major airlines and you'd be surprised at how many have said your instrument rating should be mandatory. And now I can see that. You will become a pro at managing your avionics. You will end up mastering your radio calls. And I still have a long way to go on that. And now I will make the confession. Some of my radio calls are like the Gettysburg Address, but I'll get there. You'll find yourself able to do necessary computations in your head, and your pre-flight briefings will take on a whole new dimension and have a life of their own. You will know what problems to look for and be aware of what could affect your flight. Being an instrument-rated pilot will make you a safer and a better pilot. So there are the top five reasons to get your IFR ticket. So if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you are over 50, you got one thing to do. Get up in the air right now.